Terrific Tongues, written by Maria Gian Ferrari and illustrated by Gia Lu. It's a straw, it's a sword, it's a nose, it's a mop, it's a tongue. Stick out your tongue. If you had a tongue like a sword, you might be a woodpecker. The red-bellied woodpecker's tongue is three times as long as its beak and as sharp as a sword. It uses its barbed tongue to stab beetle larvae and other insects that burrow beneath tree bark. If you had a tongue like a straw, you might be a moth. Moth sip flower nectar with their long tube-like tongues. When they're not eating, moth roll up their tongues like garden hoses. The Darwin's hawk moth has a body only four inches long, yet its tongue is 12 inches. That's three times as long as its body. If you had a tongue like a party blower, you might be a frog. The North American bullfrog's tongue unrolls like a party blower. It's sticky for catching insects, crayfish, snakes, turtles, frogs, and even ducklings. If you had a tongue like a nose, you might be a snake. A snake's tongue helps it smell. It sticks out its forked tongue to collect chemicals in the environment. The chemicals are then absorbed by two pits on the roof of its mouth called the Jacobson's organ. The Jacobson's organ sends a message to the snake's brain, letting it know whether it's smelling food, danger, or a mate. If you had a tongue like a mop, you might be a bat. When the Pala's long-tongued bat sticks its tongue out for drinking, hairs on its surface pop out to absorb the nectar like the fibers on a string mop. If you had a tongue like a washcloth, you might be an okapi. An okapi's tongue is like a washcloth. Okapi's tongues are so long that okapis can use them to wash their eyes and ears. If you had a tongue like a whip, you might be an anteater. The giant anteater's tongue is as long and fast as a whip. It flicks its tongue in and out of insects' nests up to 160 times in a minute. Count to one. Snap, snap, snap. The anteater's tongue has already snapped in and out of the nest almost three times. If you had a tongue like a windshield wiper, you might be a gecko. Morning geckos don't have eyelids. Their tongues swish over their eyes like windshield wipers to keep them clean. If you had a tongue like an arrow, you might be a chameleon. The chameleon's tongue hurls towards its prey as quick as a toy arrow shot from a bow. The tip of the chameleon's tongue forms a suction cup, slurping up prey as large as lizards and small birds. If you had a tongue like an air conditioner, you might be a dog. Dog tongues work like mini air conditioners. Dogs stick out their tongues and pant to get rid of the heat. Quick breath chill blood in the dog's tongue, which circulates, cooling the rest of its body. If you had two tongues, you might be an octopus. The common octopus uses its tongue like a carpenter uses tools. An octopus chips at the shell of its prey with its sharp beak. Then it scrapes its tongue back and forth inside the shell like a rasp. If filing doesn't work, it then uses another tongue-like organ to drill through the shell. If you had a tongue that can lick, taste, blow bubbles with gum, talk, and whistle, you'd be you. Your tongue can lick. Your tongue has many muscles, so it can move up and down, side to side and out, perfect for licking lollipops and ice cream cones. Your tongue can taste. You have bumps in your tongues that contain thousands of tiny sensors called taste buds. What if your chocolate ice cream tastes like popcorn? Without taste buds, everything might taste the same. With taste buds, your tongue can taste sweet chocolate, salty pretzels, sour lemons, and bitter medicine. Your tongue can talk. All the muscles in your tongue help you talk, say, scissors. Now hold your tongue down with two fingers and repeat it. See? Let's talk tongue twisters. Say this as fast as you can. A tutor who tooted a flute tried to tutor two tutors to toot. Say the two to the tutor, it is harder to toot. Or to tutor two tutors to toot. Your tongue is terrific too. 
Tongues stab, suck, grab. Tongues clean, mop, preen. Tongues snatch, smell, catch, tell. Tongues cool, tongues rule. Tongues are terrific. Stick out your tongue and say, ah. Read more about the terrific tongues on the following page.